talk about the x-intercepts of a parabola. The x-intercepts, or we call these the roots of this parabola, it's where our parabola crosses the x-axis. Now all of the points on the x-axis, to get to any point on here, I may go right, I may go left, but I will never go up or down. The y is always equal to zero. To find the x-intercepts or the roots of my parabola, I will have to make sure that y is equal to zero and then I will solve the equation. Find the x-intercepts of this parabola. y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. In order to find the x-intercepts, we will let y equal zero and I will solve this quadratic equation. Now you may need to refer back to another video on factoring or solving quadratic equations. But in quadratic equations, I do get everything on one side and then I factor it. In this case, I will need the factors of negative four and I need to look at these factors and see which one will add to positive three. I will choose negative one and positive four. We have zero is equal to x minus one times x plus four. We will use the zero product property we know that x minus 1 will equal 0 or x plus 4 will equal 0. I'm going to solve each of these smaller equations. x will equal 1 and the other x-intercept will equal negative 4. I could also type this into my graphing calculator and confirm that it does cross the x-axis at positive 1 and negative 4. These are the x-intercepts of this parabola, also known as the roots. Let's try another one. Find the x-intercepts of this parabola. y equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. In order to find the x-intercepts, I will let y equal 0. I will factor it. I will need the factors of 6 that when I add them, I will get positive 7. I will choose to use 1 and 6, so that will be x plus 1 times x plus 6. I have two factors equal to 0, so one of them must be 0. x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 6 equals 0. Solve each of these smaller equations. One of the x-intercepts will be negative 1, and the other x-intercept will be negative 6. And sure enough, when I typed it into my calculator, I do see that it crosses the x-axis at negative 1 and at negative 6. Find the x-intercepts of y equals x squared plus 12x plus 36. I will let y equal 0. You may notice that this is a perfect square trinomial, x plus 6 squared. If not, I could continue factoring it, x plus 6 times x plus 6, which is the same thing as x plus 6 squared. x plus 6 will equal 0, which means that the x-intercept will be negative 6. Let's see how that looks when I type it into the calculator. And I do have only one x-intercept at negative 6. Okay, we're working this problem a little bit differently. I want you to find the equation of this parabola. I see the x-intercepts are negative 2 and 6. Now remember the x-intercepts are the roots and I do know that x minus each root equals 0. So if one of the roots is negative 2, x minus a minus 2, I must have had x plus 2. If the other root was 6, I would have x minus 6 equals 0. So I must have had x plus 2 times x minus 6 equals 0. Well, let's multiply this out using FOIL. I will have x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And if I want to write this as a parabola, I will write it as y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 12. 